Hello, my name is Ken Hornock. I'm the former pastor at Mid Valley Bible Church. I've been asked to do a devotional for which I am delighted to do. In Luke chapter 18, there are two very well-known parables. The first is the parable of the unjust judge and the poor widow who's in desperate need of help. The second is a parable about a rich, self-righteous Pharisee and a poor, sinning tax collector. One is a civil situation, the other is a religious situation. Both parables have a prominent person and a person who is in desperate need of help. Our Lord introduces these two parables by telling the disciples they always ought to pray and not faint. The word faint is an interesting word because it literally means to despair, to give up. I am not an authority on fainting, but I have fainted three or four times in recent years, and I have noticed that when you faint, you are lifeless and limp, and you need help sitting up, standing up, and even walking. Sometimes life situations can hit you so hard that you feel like fainting. But the alternatives are simple. You either pray or you despair. But there's another word in that initial phrase that I want to underscore, and you would think that it is the word always. As important as that word is, it does tell us about the frequency of how we should pray. But the other word I want to underscore is the word ought. It is a word that is used over a hundred times in the New Testament by almost every single New Testament writer. It is a word which is better translated must or should. A classic example of this word is used over in 1 Timothy chapter 3, when the Apostle Paul says of spiritual leaders that they must be blameless or they must be above reproach. Over 50 years ago in a Greek class while in Bible school, I remember the professor talking about this word, and he said, whenever you see this word, supply the word logical necessity. Now think about that in the context of prayer. Whenever you hit a difficult situation, it is a logical necessity that we pray, otherwise we will despair. It's an either or situation. It's two extremes, and you can choose which one you do. In the 1900s, there was a man who fell in love with a young lady, but weeks before they were to marry, she died. Of course, he was heartbroken. The rest of his life, he never married, but he did have financial ups and downs, he did have difficulties with his health, and he was constantly ill and sick. That man wrote a poem, which later became a song, perhaps one of the 10 best known songs in the Christian faith. See if you can recognize it. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Are you weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care? Precious Savior, still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Let's do that for the next few minutes.